hello guys welcome to episode one of the nation server yes it has been started up we are currently playing on minecraft version 1.5.2 because counter punch tv the owner um, didn't want to um, take snapshots because what the heck because um yeah, there could be bugs in it, but anyways, let me turn down the music a bit. So yeah, this. Well, yeah, let me begin. This is the griefer's base island where he built his little house on. He is, I think he's the most active member on this server. He just traveled around the ocean and found this island, and then just built his base on it. I think it's pretty cool, it's useful, he got some farms over there and there, and down here he has got a skeleton grinder, which I could just, uh, which I could just show you, <sighs> oh yeah, <laughs> so yeah, the server has been started up yesterday, um, but I couldn't be there, because it was just too late it was like midnight for me here so what the heck <laughs> so this is his spawner <laughs> it is a very basic design but it's useful so um at midnight and i couldn't do that because i was on the computer like eight hours i made something very very big i made huge progress with Justin, which you may know from the Let's Rock Minecraft together, and um, yeah, I didn't tell you what we uh, have done together. I won't upload my world, uh, my world. I won't upload my side of the Let's Rock Minecraft together. See ya. Um, because I don't think it makes much sense because. Most of my viewers are uh, English speaking so they don't even understand German so why should they watch it? And yeah, Justin and I decided to build... Mm, I don't want to spoil too much but we decided to build something very very big and I had some really cool impressions for that and I would like to build some stuff of my uh, creations or not my creations but of my um, um, project with Justin on this server and yeah but you may saw my latest seed review where I showed you my Legolas skin currently I have my normal Hawaii skin on again um, yeah I wanna build Isengard from Law of the Rings Isengard that's the big tower with the four like uh, spikes on top and I think it looks pretty epic Justin and I did this on his server we built a big forest and all that great stuff and yeah I will just travel along this uh, lake ocean whatever here um, and see if I can find a base and meanwhile I want to talk to you about Lord of the Rings why not some of you may know Lord of the Rings if not you should definitely watch it it has some kind of magic and it you can't really explain I can't explain it in German so I can surely not in English so yeah mm. Oh, we're getting far away from spawn. Um, I'm getting distracted again. <laughs> so, I knew it. Stupid squid. Okay, there's an island. Oh god, it won't help me much. Ugh, first fail. On whoa, whoa. Hey, stop it. First fail on the server. <laughs> um. Yeah, where was I? See, I'm getting distracted all over. Uh, it has some magic in it. I 
think it's because of the music, but well, some of you may not know it, so let me just explain you um, the story which is in the Lord of the Rings. Um, if you don't want to spo uh, be spoiled or something, then just skip this part and yeah, watch on or <laughs> oh, whatever. So it's about Bilbo Baggins, that's a hobbit. Those are small guys with uh, hairy feet, <laughs> and they live in a little village with some really big farms and nice houses and a cave, not a cave, but in a mountain something with a roundish um, door where. Uh, yeah, with the roundish door. And this is where the story begins. Um, Gandalf, who is a big, a tall, let's call him a tall, um, magician, wizard, whatever. He can um, enchant stuff. Oh, not enchant. You know what I mean. God damn it. <laughs> um, he can... He can do magic stuff, okay. So, he comes to uh, Bilbo, they meet up and then they see... Uh, Gandalf sees a ring, which has some uh, script in Elbish on it, which says one ring to rule them all, um, something like that. And, yeah. Then Frodo, that is, I think it's Bilbo's, um, not son, but Bilbo's the uncle of, um, Frodo, let's say it like this. So, yeah, Frodo has the quest to burn that ring, because the ring is not good at all. If he puts it on his finger, he gets invisible, but... If he puts it on too long, he will never be able to put it up uh, to take it off again. And this will lead into not good stuff, but some people got obsessed with that ring. Such as Gollum, who was uh, Smeagol before, but he killed his brother while they were fishing. And he tried to take the ring but then, yeah, Gollum or Smeagol killed his brother and then he had the ring and then he got obsessed with it and he now lives in caves, looks pretty pretty ugly, has just three hairs, three thick hairs and nothing else anymore. Mm. So, doesn't look too good. Um, yeah, now this ring is not a normal ring. There has, uh, there have been several rings, which have been given to the elves, to uh, the hobbits, to the dwarves, to the um, um, to the humans, I think, and some more stuff. But there was one guy who is called Sauron or Zauron which we will call him in German. We don't have this, like, soft ass. We have a hard ass. Not ass, but S. <laughs> don't understand me wrong. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Sauron, or Sauron, whatever. He has made a ring in, um, in some place where the lava is so hot that he could bore, uh, burn stuff in them, in it, and yeah, that kind of stuff. And Frodo has the quest to uh, destroy that ring, but it's only possible in um, in this area where Zauron made it. Man, I'm not good at telling stories, <laughs> but. <laughs> Anyway, so he has to destroy it, but there are certain difficulties, let's call it like that, with, uh, where he can't just like, um, 
get through and destroy it, he has to um, fight orcs or other ugly things like uh, Nazgul's and that kind of creepy stuff so that is not as cool but hmm, yeah that's that so that was basically it um you gotta watch it if you haven't if you are not a fan of fantasy I am not uh, really but Lord of the Rings is something different you have to watch it it take some hours to watch but it's definitely worth it so let me just chop down this tree mm. and yeah Isengard that's a tower with the spikes as I just said and yeah it plays a big role in this movie not as big but it's something it's something and yeah, I want to build that as my main base, but for that I would need nether uh, brick from nether forests, from nether castles, what is it, is it castles, nether fortresses, okay, um, nether fortresses, let's make another one, and yeah, then I could build me a nice little, um, like thing on the server which everybody knows me like something remarkably cool so everybody knows what's up so I wanna build in the Lord of the Rings theme and I think it will be cool so this was just a little plan for today this was episode 1 nothing spectacular but it was something I am doing some plans for the uh, for the time for the next time whatever I'm a bit confused <laughs> with the English language at the moment but however thank you for watching episode 1 check out all the members down the description and don't forget to leave a like if you like this episode you support me a lot with that and subscribe if you haven't and watch Lord of the Rings and 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 a lot of things to do but do so and you will be good to go so see ya in the next episode <laughs>